This story starts in 2019. It was my freshman year of high school. I was a lot shorter and smaller than the rest of the kids in my grade. I would definitely be considered a late bloomer. I was also very shy, timid, and did not have a lot of confidence. High school is brand new to me and somewhat of a scary place. It was scary because there were so many unfamiliar faces and a lot of people that I did know from middle school had completely changed. It seemed like everyone that I knew all got taller and all got deeper voices. Most people were so much bigger than me. It was very intimidating and it did not help with my shyness. I usually stayed around the people that I already knew from middle school that year. However, I did make a few new friends. One of those friends was Mary. Mary and I were first introduced to each other by a mutual friend over a FaceTime call, and we immediately became friends. After that, we would always say hi to each other in the halls and sit next to each other in the classes that we had together. Although we were good friends, when I first met Mary, she was somewhat confusing to me. This was because of how different our personalities were. Mary is probably one of the most outgoing people that I have ever met. Most people would consider her to be an extrovert. An extrovert is defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as a person whose personality is characterized by extroversion, a typically gregarious and unreserved person who enjoys and seeks out social interaction. Mary had lots of friends and was involved in many things at school. I was the exact opposite of her, and I was especially the opposite of her in my freshman year of high school. I naturally like to keep to myself, and most people would consider me to be an introvert. An introvert is defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as a person whose personality is defined by introversion, a typically reserved or quiet person who tends to be introspective and enjoys spending time alone. I don't have too many friends, and I would rarely have the confidence to step out of my comfort zone. Mary had this ability to make friends with everyone that she talked to. Again, this was quite the opposite of me. I would basically only talk to people that I already knew. Never would I even consider starting a conversation with a stranger. What is the point? I don't even know them. Mary and I had slowly become better friends since freshman year, and we eventually became best friends. Although our ways of expressing our beliefs and emotions were the exact opposite, we had many of the same values. We bonded over many things, and we also had a similar sense of humor. After growing closer and closer to one another, Mary and I started dating in the winter of our junior year of high school. Over time, her way of socializing became less confusing to me, and I was able to understand how it worked. More and more, I would break out of my introverted shell and step out of my comfort zone. I accomplished this by doing many little things that I wouldn't have even considered doing. This included things like complimenting strangers or even raising my hand in class. Being outgoing and friendly turns out to, to actually be not as complicated as I once thought it was. Sometimes putting yourself out there and trying to be social can have many positive outcomes. By being around Mary for so long, I was able to pick up on a lot of her good social habits and leave some of my negative introverted social habits behind. Not only does Mary make lots of friends, she is successful at the things that she wants to do. Talking to more people leads to meeting more people, which means naturally she gets many opportunities to do many things. For example, she was able to get a paid internship at a big company. She has helped me understand that being outgoing and sometimes being the one to start a conversation can take you far. I am now a freshman in college, and I feel like a completely different person than how I was as a freshman in high school. Ever since I met Mary, I have been challenging myself to be more outgoing. I have felt a change in my confidence and an overall increase in opportunities that I have gotten in my life. These include going to college, making more friends, etc. This story of my relationship with Mary brings up a couple important questions. Can being introverted be harmful to yourself? Are extroverted people more successful than others?